Hey ladies, I'm Emma from Women Freebies and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute Easter craft. It's a little bit tricky so this one I'm going to suggest uh, not for younger children but for adults or you know maybe I'm going to say like 8 to 10 year olds with some supervision could probably do this. Anyway this is what we're going to be making. It's a really cute little egg with yarn and you can put whatever little treats you want inside. I bought these, I bought everything at the dollar store that I needed or Walmart. So I have the little I'm sure we're all familiar with the little chocolate eggs that look like this and then these are just I think they're for crafting and stuff you'd probably put them in a little bird's nest and I picked up one of these but I think this guy might be too big we'll see um the first time I tried to use them it didn't work so we'll see what happens the second time so what you do to start actually is stretch out the balloon and blow it up <laughs> and then you're going to open it up like this and stretch it because you're going to put the little treats inside. So I'm going to throw in a little chocolate egg and this little egg here and also I'll throw in a couple of other ones too. Not too tricky. Blow the balloon up again and you're going to want to try to make it egg shaped. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you tie the balloon really tight. The first egg that I tried, this is the second, actually this is the third egg that I tried to make and it turned out pretty cute. The first one I tried to make is this one and as you can see I didn't let the, uh, I didn't tie the balloon tight enough. So this will, this is what will happen, it'll collapse upon itself and it won't work so don't try that. You're going to want to make sure that you double tie the balloon and that's why I do that. So the next thing you need is, this is where the glue in the jar comes in. I just poured the, the glue in. You're going to mix it with equal part water. So half glue, half water. I used a jar because you can shake it up and it doesn't make a mess. And now it's all ready. You have your yarn. I cut it into strips because I found them easier to work with. You just take your strip and you put it in here like that. You're going to want to cover it in glue. So now you have your glue covered yarn and this is where, if you have a tablecloth, go ahead and use it. <laughs> and you're going to wrap around the egg, crisscrossing all over the place. Okay, so then the end product will look like this. It'll be a little bit wet. I put, I set out plastic bags at home, but since I don't have one here, I'm just going to put it on my lid. And you're going to leave it for 24 hours for the yarn to dry, at which point you're just going to poke in the little holes where, like this, and um, so that the balloon is no longer stuck to the yarn. Clip the end off and pull the yarn out, or pull the balloon out through the yarn in like say a spot like this. And that's it. You'll end up with cute little things like this. If you can fill them with candy, jelly beans, anything you want really. They just make cute little um, either decorations. You could put a little tiny, I don't know, say if you got like a little necklace or earrings, you could put them inside the balloon and try to do that as a creative gift idea. But I just thought this was really cute and I wanted to share it with you guys.